There are so many devices that need to be charged nowadays. Your smartphone, Bluetooth headphones, power bank, and even more. Have you ever run into any charging problems like slow charging or even not being charged from the charger? I'm going to show you a great tool that you can troubleshoot this. Hi everybody. Have you experienced any similar issue that I just mentioned? If so, you need a USB digital tester. There are a few different types of USB tester on the market. This one, probably one of the oldest style. It has a USB pigtail cable for your pl plug into your power. This one so, uh, is a USB port that actually connect to a maybe a QC char capable charging device or any like any charging device that needs the D plus and D minus connection. This port is only for the USB power connection. So there won't be any connection between the D plus and T minus connection. This charger will support a 3.2 to 10 volt uh, voltage and also support the maximum of 3 amps current. So this charger, not charger, I mean this adapter only will show you the voltage and also the current. That's all it is. This is a similar one but better. It has only one USB port so it's a no-brainer. Actually you can just plug your charging device into this connector and then the USB port the USB connector can plug into any any power, power source. This is a very different design. This USB port actually there's no orientation. So you can plug it upside down just like this. Okay. It supports a 3 volt to 30 volts power and up to 5.1 amp current. It also supports all the QC 2.0 or 3.0 or any Apple chargers. Once you connect everything together, it will show you the input output voltage, the output current, the voltage on the data pins, which actually shows whether it is a straight cable or is a charge only cable. It also show you the resistance and also the temperature. If you click this button, it will bring you to another screen which can measure the capacity which is right here uh, the capacity and also the energy transfer let's say if you want to find out a 5000 million power bank is really a 5000 then you can use this adapter use this tester actually to test it to run a test do a full test of the power bank drink drink the power bank do a full test and then see if the if the capacity register is going to hit like 5000 or not but this one has no memory so either you have to you have to monitor this charger see what's going on all the time the other one that you can find is this one like right here it's a USB C to a USB C tester so it cannot do any like other kind of USB charging so if you only want to test it with a USB connection this will be the adapter for you but this is very uh, very popular on, on Amazon on some other online store website but you, you know it depends on how you use the, this kind of tester this one is the one that actually I will recommend to you right now this is one of the most updated uh, USB digital tester in the market right now it's, it is the ET920 by Klein Tooth this USB tester looks more professional. First, it supports two different kind of USB connection, USB A to A and also USB C to C. So they are connected like for this, with the same connection. It's not you cannot plug this in and then plug a USB C cable right here. So it's a straight USB the same same type of USB port kind of connection. So why do we want to micro uh, the USB-C connector? Because most of the Android phone right now using a Type-C port, and most of the other, you know, a newer 
in, you know, electronic uh, devices peripheral if they are using a USB charging, Type-C will be the connection. So for example, Google Pixel phone, it only comes with a USB A to A cable. And also starting from the iPhone 11, Apple is using their fast charge system and each phone will come with a USB-C to a lightning cable. So that's why you will need a USB-C connection test on this tester. The input voltage that it support is much, much, much better. So it's a 3 volt and to 20 volt uh, support. And then the current from the USB-A is going to be 3 amp maximum and the USB-C is going to be 5 amp maximum. You can use this tester on an Apple Thunderbolt connections. And of course, it supports all the quick charge and the PD charging. Basically, it is a straight through data connection, which is used to control the charging speed. So what can this digital meter do? Let me give it the loading first. So once you plug into a power source, in this case, I'm, I'm using a power bank right now. So what it will show you is the voltage from the power bank. It will show the current, actually the, from the power bank charging my phone, the capacity. So how much actually is loaded, how much power will actually is transferred to, uh, from the power bank to the phone. And then the charging time. Also, it tells you that I'm using USB-A or USB-C the energy and also the resistance from the cable from the charging to hold the whole charging circuit uh, it also had 10 memory space so you can record when you're doing a testing so you can record your test data in one of the memory slots so it's just for your future records the other reason I like this digital meter is because of the build quality it has a very ruggedized look it has an IP20 rating, so it has some kind of dust proof. And also it can survive a 2 meter or 6.5 feet drop. So it, it's, a, it's a very heavy duty tools that you can carry in your toolbox. And you know, we, we, we all do, uh, we put these kind of adapters into a toolbox that with all the other stuff, like maybe a power bag, maybe a screwdriver or something. So with this kind of adapters, this, the build quality is very flimsy and if you put this in one of those two boxes it may only last like maybe a couple months the most and then it will start breaking apart and if you look at all these cables built it's much flimsier than the than the client tools like this one right here so it with the string relief everything so it, it won't break off as, as easy unless like you purposely intentionally pulled it but this the style everything looks great I like the heavy duty, everything like that. So right now, you know, maybe you still think about like, oh, you know, yeah, I, I see all these like digital meters that you're putting out, but what is the use case? I don't, I don't even know what are my use case. So, okay, let me show you. Here are three power banks. Each of these power banks has a USB Type-C output and also two USB ports. This one is a one, uh, 10,000 milliamp, this one also 10,000 milliamp, and this one is a 5,000 milliamp. They all have type, USB Type-C output. So right here, I have a Google Pixel phone. It's a Pixel 2 XL phone. So let me do this. Let me plug this one to the ET920. Plug this one to here. And then, because it's, I just used a Type C, so I used a Type C to plug into the Type C port. Okay. So, right now, I want to test all these three power banks on the USB Type C connector and see which one charged the fastest. Okay. So on this one right here, you see it's an 8.85 volt with 1.33 amp. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it triggered the, the, the quick charge already. So remember that like 8.86 to 1.3. Okay. This one right here is another uh, 10,000 milliamp fast charge claim fast charge USB.
Okay, so you can see this one right here. This one is a 9 volt. See, it jumps. Okay, so it's 9 volt to a 1.28 amp. So even on the phone right here, I'm not sure if you can see it. The phone actually can uh, actually is showing it's charging rapidly. So this one is nine volts. So this one, this one performed a very similar to this to this one right here. Okay, let me put this aside. This is a five thousand milliamp uh, power bank. It also has the USB port and also a regular USB port. And this micro USB is for charging only. So let me plug this. So before we look at that number, let's see on this one. You see, the phone is still showing that it's charging rapidly. So meaning that the phone actually is triggering the fast charge. However, if you look at the meter right now, the meter is only showing 4.88 volt and then the current is 1.62. So the current is very similar. It has a very similar power flow. However, the voltage is dropped from almost 9 volts to a 4.8 volt. So technically, this one is a, is a slow charge. It's not even a fast charge. But the phone actually detected is still a fast charge uh, connection. So see, without a digital meter, you cannot really see what's going on with these like these different power banks. Some, some of them claims that it can be a USB fast charge, but sometimes that actually it, it's not. And especially like with those power banks that you can find on Amazon, you cannot really guarantee that quality unless you have a tools like this that actually you can test it yourself. What I just showed you is only one of the use case, but there are so many different other kind of use case, it depends. So let me give you another example. So let's say you have an old electronics that has a built-in charger. Like let's say a, a old phone that, that you want to you know, take it out and want to, want to see if it works. It's not an old phone. So if you have one of the older phones that has a built-in battery that actually like you, you don't know whether this phone is working or not. So what it will do, if you just see this is a Type C, a lightning fast charge cable. So you can plug this right here. And then the USB port, let me get a fast charger. Let's plug this in. Okay. So it turns on, it shows zero, and then it, it starts jumping. So even though this one is completely dead, I can see it is charging with the rate of like 5 volt to 1.8 or 1. Point, almost like oh, it's 2 volt. So this one can measure. So this is showing you actually the sign of life, like it's, it's charging. So if you if it's something wrong, if, if on the next day that you, you don't see the phone is charged, but you see the power going in, then meaning that the, there's something wrong with your phone. It may be the display, it may be the motherboard, but there's something else. So see, seeing this kind of power transfer measurement is very, very important when you're troubleshooting some of the old stuff or even a random uh, electronic peripheral, like a, uh, maybe a USB fan, or there's so many different USB type of like devices that you can use. You know, maybe a battery charger that charge your drone's battery or a uh, battery charger that charge your um, any kind of batteries you know so I believe there are a lot of different ways that you will find this digital meter handy and you can go check it out if you like this video don't forget to like comment and share I put the affiliate link down on the description below also follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter thank you for watching this is Anthony from my mobile 911 see you next time